Oh, I know. Chameleon. Is there any other choice? That sounds like a good option to me. Let's see. What do I turn into here in the, uh, the altar? The fuck is that I thing? I don't know. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, that's, oh, that's one, uh, one of the pillars further down the path. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you could kind of use it to blend in, somewhat. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe if you could destroy those pillars and take one of them, and uh, take the, the spot of it. I don't think you can. Um, I think they're just static objects, so you have to be, uh, really careful where you use it, I guess. Of course. Also, wait a minute, huh? when, I thought I was... How did I just completely leave all the covenants? I'm not part of any now. I thought I was at least part of, like, the, the forest hunter or something like that. You killed her. Or you made her go away and she kicked you out. Oh, well, man. <laughs> Nothing like being stuck up. Also, I don't know, is the chat updating right? Because it's been stuck on that biscuits line for a while now. Uh, I don't think anyone's replying. Okay, good. I How... think they're too focused on the poll going on. The Goku pole. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good lord. And also, yes, that uh, poll title came from a YouTube comment. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, don't read YouTube comments. The worst. That's that's basically the thing. The worst YouTube say. comments. Yes. So hey, some good news for a change. You're about to be Dark Souls. I am. This is the last area, man. Plus, I'm human. So if if you're going to invade, now would be the time to try. Awesome. I like those self-correcting problems, Biscuits. <laughs> That's kind. I only wish they were more common. Uh-oh, mirror match. Oh yeah, that's right, I didn't, I didn't even notice he had the fucking greatsword. Wow. I'm observant. I think observant's kind of an important skill in Dark Souls. It would help, yeah, but you know, I've already got the sword, so I don't really care about that shit anymore. He can swing whatever he wants. He's still gonna die. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't think this is a very long area, if I remember right. Is it? It is very short. Like you have what five black knights to deal with. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Which is fortunate because it makes the run back a lot, a lot more convenient. Definitely. Yeah, and you can you can uh farm these guys. Uh huh. Oh come on. So if you never got their weapons before, you now have uh, infinite chances because normally the Black Knights don't respond. Yeah, but they do here in the kiln of the last flame. There you go. See, I, I got it right eventually. First flame. First fuck. <laughs> 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 they are not dropping any of their weapons. It might help though if I put on my my farming ring though. Yeah generally a good idea. Of course, that makes me super heavy guy now, but whatever. The Goat Man, what's up? I like that name, The Goat Man. That's a pretty good name. It makes me think of Diablo, to be honest. The Goat? Oh, yeah, those, what were they? They were like the Moon Raiders or whatever. Moon Clan or whatever. Yeah, the Clan. The, the Goat Clans. How the fuck do I remember that? I haven't played Diablo in like, what, at least two, three years now. It's one of the consistent enemies. Like, it's in all the Diablo games. Like, the Goatman. I've only played... Whoa. The guy has got a high jump there. But I've only played Diablo 2. So I don't know. I mean, going by what you told me, you played a lot of Diablo 2, so maybe that's how. You know, I have never beaten it, though. I've, I've always gotten stuck on uh, Act 3. Still nothing, really. Wow, and that's, that's, that's a wrap, I think. Well, no, there's one more. Never mind. I got this. You got one more chance. Oh well, hell, we should do a co-op streamer playthrough or something of Diablo 2 at some point. That'd be just fine by me. I think I'd go for that. I mean, I don't think it'd be a great LP to do because there's a lot of uh, dull moments in Diablo 2 where you're just wandering around. Yeah. Stream-wise, though, I think it'd be fine because these guys will watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Your audience has no standards. Hey, you got the shield. Nice, and we'll see how good that shield is. By the way, I never did look up the, the Sanctus here. What does that do? Slight HP recovery, but I don't have enough faith to use it. Nice. You can still get the uh, regeneration effect from it, even though you don't have the faith. But uh, it's not a very good shield otherwise. Yeah. How's this compared?
compared to the... Oh wow, this has great fire damage. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hmm, might have to use that sometime. On a I'm new game plus. It's probably nice to have uh, against Calamity. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, you're right. Man. Anyway, I guess this is it, huh? This is this is boss time. Yeah. Are you trying? Yeah, it is. Are you like actually trying to actively invade me, or? I, I'm not. I don't have the game open. Okay, that's fine. I guess. Uh, Biscuits. What about you? Are, oh fuck you! I got you once. That's all that counts. Plus, that's all the people are gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, let's let's see what we got here. I have 156,000 souls to lose, and it just no cutscene. No, there's hardly been any cutscene for bosses. You just, wow. They just kind of appear. All right, nice flaming sword there. It's a Gwyn's pretty fast. I see sure that. You noticed. Hmm. I do love the setting for this boss fight, though. It's interesting. Wait, what? Like you were expecting some sort of epic, dramatic final confrontation. No, it's just a game. <laughs> Really? Should have rolled. Okay. Death one. Did some Ooh. kind of crazy grab move on me. Alright, that works. Yeah, he does that. He always follows it up with something right afterwards. Oh, fuck. I gotta go all the way back there now, don't I? God damn mm -hmm. it. Didn't take Gwyn, you. Lord of Cinder. Let's see what you got. I thought he did a good job showing you the first time. Fuck. I don't know if I missed the parry or not. Uh, he partially parried, it looks like. He blocked some of the damage. Eh, that's better than nothing. Hmm. I think I'm parrying too late. Considering he can even parry it at all. Dude, you could parry the motherfucker. He's dead. That did like a quarter of his fucking health. So, I... Gwyn's the only boss that can be parried in the entire game. Naturally, the final boss that you could parry him, of course. Uh huh. Where the fuck is my blood stain, yo? There it is. And yeah, it's pretty much the best way of beating him. Because fighting without it is really hard, because he's super fast and has a lot of powerful attacks. I see that, yeah. Come on, come on, Gwen. Yep, you're gone. I got this down pat. <laughs> he also does something interesting whenever you try to uh, use an Estus. Like, most enemies won't do anything different. He runs at you, doesn't he? Yeah, he does that stab attack more often than not when you're trying to Estus. Neat. And if you're at low health, it's pretty much guaranteed to kill you. I like the fact that they programmed that in for him. Hmm. I, th I think he's the only boss who acts uh, aggressively whenever you try to heal. Jesus. You know, watch someone call me a liar on YouTube. <laughs> You're filling me with misinformation here, Arsenic. What's up with that? Apparently anyone who gives advice on Dark Souls is wrong. Of course, what yeah. I'm starting to understand. It is super silly that you can parry him. That is crazy. It's, it does so much damage, too, which is hilarious. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit, you can parry his jump attack! <laughs> yeah, he can! It's he, just super hard to do. He is just fucked. Yep, that that was... Well, there's Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen. Second try. Fuck you, final boss. <laughs> oh my god. Final boss is really bad if you know how to parry it. That if was... you don't, it's really hard, but if you do, yeah. Well, I got his soul for all the good that's gonna do. Or will that carry over into the next game? All of your items will carry over to the next game. Also, everything's going to be a bit harder now. What the hell am I supposed to do? Well, you have... I guess you could light that bonfire, or you can leave. Let's explore okay. the area now that it's not lit up and we can't see shit. I see a nice little cubby hole back here. Maybe I could, uh... Can you backstab him? Uh, no. That's odd. I mean, he, did, he wasn't giving me much of an opportunity, granted, but still. Yeah. I, I don't think you can. I'm pretty now, sure it's just, uh, berries. Okay, so if I leave, can I go back and save at the other bonfire and, uh, like, farm the black You're not leaving or... this area. The game's over. It's just dependent on if you want to light the first flame or if you just want to leave. 
Oh, it's like a good ending, bad ending type type of thing, huh? Kinda. I guess we'll light it. Fuck it. We came all this way. Link the fire. Go for it. There technically, you go. technically, biscuits. It was, I think, three parries. <laughs> Did you know oh. you could parry him, by the way? Or <laughs> to take off that goofy fucking helmet. Did I know? Yeah. No. Okay. I, I haven't seen this boss before. Your experimentation paid off. I figured that. If, I figured that if you could like, like you say, halfway parry that attack and block it, I figure you can. If it's a sword, you can block it unless it's just fucking huge. Mm -hmm. To be fair, like, what? you can't parry any of the other bosses, and uh, it's just weird that they made the final boss parryable, or whatever the word is. Wait, that's it? Yeah, you linked the fire. So you want to know what happened? You merely how, how do I know? <laughs> well, if if you were paying attention to the lore, man. I thought he was. I thought you know you link the fire, you go back to human realm or whatever, human world or whatever. No, um, basically what Gwen did is what you did. He linked the fire, but he was used as fuel for the fire. Okay. See? Right. The curse of the undead is gone only temporarily. Someone else is going to have to take your place eventually. So merely, all he did was merely postpone the inevitable. And, so basically, uh, I should have walked out the fucking door. Eh, that uh, has its own problems as well. <laughs> well, what are the problems with that? Uh, granted, you know. You know in well, I mean, granted, it wouldn't leave it open for the sequel, but that's another story. Well, but. No, I don't know yeah. what happened to Ulasil. There was some dude with a giant fucking hand that screwed shit up in the dragon. That's, I think that's the gist of it, right? Well, they listened to one of the primordial serpents who were like, Oh, the, dark, the age of dark is the age of man. It's gonna be a good time, yo. Right. And then everyone gets fucked up by the darkness. The abyss kind of ruined everything. That's what, what, uh, that's what would happen if you just left. Like, the Age of Dark would come into play, and you'd be the Dark Lord. Oh, okay. And, and everything would get fucked up, basically. But it's still gonna get fucked up in the end anyway. Yeah, there's no good ending. Sure. Hell, have a bad ending and a slightly worse ending. Should've just become the fucking Dark Lord, what the hell? Do you at least yeah. get a, a unique cutscene with that, you know, sitting on like an Iron Throne or some shit? Oh, well, it's a pretty good cutscene. It's way better than this one. Tell me he destroys the bonfire. No, fuck. But it looks pretty badass. Your character, anyway. I guess we'll save that for New Game Plus. Mm -hmm. Now, does the ending have any uh, effect on, like, the new game? Uh, no. Okay. So, hey, you beat Dark Souls. That wasn't bad. What'd you think? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, it's. It gets a lot of hype for being, oh, this massively. Incredibly hard game and shit like that, and it's just I don't think it was worthy of that. All that talk there, but uh, I mean, it was tough. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't just balls to the wall like classic Castlevania type tough either. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was a good challenge. I think it was a great challenge, and that's 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 perfect right there. So. I agree. Like, the thing is, it has a difficulty curve. You need to learn what all of these things do, what all of these stats are supposed to represent. Oh, yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Well, yeah, once and I mean, you can't just out. go through mashing the buttons, either. Well, mm -hmm. you I guess once you get to a certain point, you can, but... <laughs> to start out with, you can't. And it, you know, uh, I can dig games like that, where you actually have to learn the system, and that's cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not but like... I agree. It's, it's not... It's not like not Lords not of Shadow busted. where you go in square, 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 square. Oh yeah, look, everything's dead. And then Gabriel just turns to the camera. Yeah, well, with his, an emotional face. Yeah, it's got this advanced combat system, all right? All these combos and everything, and all you have to do is mash the square button and you win. So it, it's like it doesn't force you to use the system. Mm. That's well designed. This one is well designed, but it actually forces you to use it. So that's cool. 
Yeah, and it kind of forces you to try to figure out how most bosses attack. Yeah. Because you just go up to them and start swinging like a madman. You're going to get your ass kicked most of the time. Oh, yeah. Go up to Ornstein Smoke, it's just like, oh, I'm going to keep hitting you with my heavy So, Oh, you, you already killed me in like three yeah. hits. Yeah. I don't know. The story-wise, because I kept up with a little bit of it, granted. It's just, I don't, uh... I mean, the story was nothing special. Let's just put it that way. I mean, it was nothing out of the ordinary or anything like that. Oh, wait, are we back? Oh, shit, I've got all my stuff? Yeah. Here's what happens in New Game Plus. You keep all of your items. They have all of their upgrade levels still. Oh, Everything's wow. the same for your character. The enemies are now a bit stronger, though. Really? How much stronger? Actually, a good thing. Um, the first couple ones aren't that much stronger, but, uh, they'll do a lot more damage. Oh, well, that's You'll still cool. probably kill them in one hit, but they can <laughs> certainly hurt you. Well, that's cool. So, okay, question then. How, uh, how many times does, does, does the game loop like that? Because that's, like, very schmuppish, where a game will I loop believe, like that. I believe it goes up to, like, ten. Oh, wow, that's... And it can get really fucking difficult. Ten... Yeah, I would imagine so. Fuck. Let's let's test out the asylum demon here and see what we got going on here. Maybe I can kill him on the yeah. first time now. No, I was wrong. Uh, apparently, it goes up to plus seven. Okay. Well, that's cool though. We'll do our double double wielding thing here. Holy shit! Yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> yeah, this playthrough you're probably gonna just kill the asylum demon the first time you run into it. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> Demon's Great Hammer. Mm -hmm. what? Yeah, you get that if you defeat him like during your first encounter. Well, let's take a look at it. What is the Demon's Great Hammer? I cannot wield it because I don't have enough... I'm one strength shy. Man, what a bummer. <laughs> it, uh... Pretty satisfying to hit things with, that's for sure. I guess. I could use it two-handed, though. Let me try it out. Okay. Does it have, like, a special attack? Eh, uh, not really. It's just a big club. Smash shit with it, basically. Okay. Boy, it's heavy, yeah, too. Yeah, I agree with Man. you. I, I agree with you on the story, though. Like, uh, a lot of it you have to just kind of assume going by vague uh, item descriptions, basically. Yeah. Because it doesn't really show you anything about the story. You just have your own objective. You're supposed to ring these bells of awakening. You're supposed to go to An Orlando. You're supposed to collect the four Lord's uh, souls and then take over Gwen's place. Right, yeah, it wasn't... I mean, it, not, it, it's not that it's bad or anything like that. It's just nothing special. And I mean, you've got all these, like, side quests and all this other stuff up there that apparently people just absolutely rave about, yo. Gotta go talk to Quaylag's sister. That's like the awesome Spurgeon event right there. But... Like, that's the thing. A lot of the more in-depth story stuff is hidden. Yeah, and but it doesn't seem... I mean, like, what's the deal with Quaylag's sister? Oh, uh, by she... the way, this guy. Good night. <laughs> hmm. Does he drop anything? He drops the Estus Flask if you kill him the first time you meet him. Oh, and I got Big Pilgrim Just key. So. <laughs> yeah, he drops the keys you need to progress. Guaranteed. If you're speedrunning, yeah, you want to kill him. <laughs> and it doesn't count as a sin, so fuck that shit. It does, I believe. Because, you know, he's an innocent guy and you just smack the hell out of him. Actually, the Goatman brings up a good question here. What can you do with, uh the various boss souls. I know you can upgrade the weapons and everything like that, but like, what type of weapons are we talking about here? Well, well hell, you already beat the game. I can spoil everything now. Yeah, you yeah. Can either make he, you can either make Gwen's sword that mm -hmm. he was using. Uh, it's not on fire, unfortunately. Alternatively, you can uh, create a miracle called the Sunlight Spear, which is a super powerful miracle that does a ton of damage. Oh, is that kind of like a Solaire's little signature move? Mm-hmm. How do you get the thing to talk to... What is it you have to, to give the, the stupid crow bastard here? Fuck, I can't remember. I think it's the sack, perhaps? 
I don't remember. Somebody in the chat will know those Dark Souls experts. No, I'm not an expert. I'm a pretender. I what is it? I think it's the 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 skull lantern. Okay. Yeah, I still think Dark Souls is wow. personally one of my favorite games of all time. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's just oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's not perfect. No, it's not perfect, and I mean, it, but it doesn't have to be. No, no absolutely not. It's just people there go... There is no perfect game. People go far up and beyond to, uh... To try and say that, oh, this is the, the hardest game I've ever played. It's a wonderful challenge. If you can't play this game, you just suck or blah, 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 blah. Hey, give me a break. You know. Don't you suck if you are doing bad at any game? I mean, come on. I'm apparently the worst at Super Mario World somehow. Do I really have to save and quit for this? Or can I just, like, that... leave and go back? Because I'm not going to save and quit and then log back in and all that other nonsense. I'll do uh, that some other time. You can save and quit, or you can leave the area. You have to make the game reload. Or you could just jump off and die. Oh, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the speedrun strat right there. <laughs> let's see, let's... Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and drop this down. Whoops, wait a minute. Like, this is super obscure, too. I mean, it was in Demon Souls, but, uh... I, mean, I don't know how you even figure out how this works without a wiki. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the good thing about it, I don't think I, there's a, uh... It won't, like, drop me down to the, uh, the asylum, whatever, his buddy, will it now? Not until I come back, I hope right? it does. That would be kind of hilarious, actually. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's a shame. That is a shame. You think on New Game Plus it would drop you straight down. What would be great is if it did it while you were fighting the, uh... You give, me one. Give, me give you warm, give you soft. I got the Ring of Fog. Oh, that's not the right ring. Don't I already have the... I thought I already had the Ring of Fog. No, I don't. Okay. It's a pretty good ring, actually. Biscuits, um, you lied to me, man! What's up? Yeah, and you think you're a souls expert? <laughs> you're casual. Oh, it turns you invisible, huh? Okay. Sorry, biscuits, I had to. Yeah, and it affects enemies, too. Like, uh, they won't see you until you get in close range. Well, it says w the... Whatever ring that lets me talk to... The, to Quailag's sister, the, the mute lady. Well, apparently she's not mute, she's just selective on how well her conversation partners are dressed. <laughs> You're not topless like her. As such, she will not talk to you in the slightest. If you want to talk to Quailag's sister, bitch, you better accessorize. Or don't, for that matter. Or, or don't, yeah. Um... I don't know. So... I don't know. Let me look it up real quick, I guess. Now, I... The Goatman, I heard that you can get it you can get all the starting gifts eventually. They you can get the old witch's ring. Used to be that you could never get... Yeah, I remember that. Before there was a patch or something and you couldn't... Uh, there were like certain starting gifts that you could not get later on, mm -hmm. but they changed that and they put them in there. Uh, okay. You ready? Yeah, tell me. You have to trade the Sunlight Maggot. Oh, the Solaire Killer. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's a little sweat off of me. I'll just drop that down there and... I guess it's in the nest. Okay, let's die. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> that's a more convenient way of doing it, to be honest. It is. I guess unless maybe you had, like, a lot of humanity, it would be bad, but... Please. Yeah, the sun's gone. I just traded my sun. That's all right. We'll go back. It's always sunny in Anor Orlando. <laughs> Until you kill Sounds like Winnebier, at least. Kind of fucking show. It's always sunny in Anor Orlando. This is probably a Twitch, or not Twitch, a YouTube series, for that name. 
I would really? Be surprised. Uh, Probably. I really don't know. I gave you warm and I gave you soft and you gave me the old witch's ring. Now let's see what this does. An old ring. So the only use this thing has is to talk to Quaylag, or her sister, yep. or whatever. Mhm. Mm and it doesn't even tell you that shit. Wow. That's. You, you literally have to put two and two together with the witches. You're not gonna put that together. I'm sorry. No, it's kind of a stretch, like you said. <laughs> Kind of a stretch, yes it is. Oh cool, my bonfire stayed kindled. Mm-hmm. Well I like that. That guy's back, um Yeah, none of the NPCs have changed. Alright, now before I quit this and we play some arrow fighters, I'm going to uh trek into the graveyard real quick. Okay. I wanna see if I can survive the new New and improved skeletons. Oh man. I don't know if you're ready for it. Probably not. I'm gonna go down here first and grab the uh those little red eye orbs that are down here. And I'll invade somebody in the catacombs. Or you could invade the undead berg. Um Undead Berg's a pretty popular PvP area, surprisingly. Well, well yeah, but I mean I'm such a high level, I don't would that work? It would, but you'll be fighting people who are probably more experienced than you. I was just gonna say, are, are there are there even people like that in there? I mean, what are the odds? Yeah, it's pretty common actually. Like I said, um, it's oftentimes used as a PvP arena. Huh, nifty. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to the it's... I'm going to the catacombs. Don't don't try and dissuade me. Uh, trust me, I'm not. I think it's just because it's really easy to clear out. The enemies are super weak. Yeah, these these skeletons aren't gonna. Yeah, they're pretty 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 sad. Oh, the, the skeletons. <laughs> we'll just it's run the by them. Of a skeleton to a T. <laughs> we'll just run by these little guys here. They got nothing for me. Toby Games is a skeleton, basically. He's really <laughs> sad. <laughs> Toby Games, fuck Toby Turner. He's a piece of shit, man. That, that's really shitty. Really shitty. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Magic attack. It hurts. Yeah? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, like I said, the enemies aren't too strong HP-wise, but they do some serious damage now. That's cool, though. I can deal with that. Let's take out the necromancer here, and we'll save at the bonfire and call it quits. Okay. Wow, that guy dropped 4,000 souls? Man, they give you more souls too, don't they? Yeah, I believe in uh, New Game Plus you get double the souls that you originally received. Nice! And then, it just, and then it just increases slightly every new game afterwards. So wait, now... Could I go and kill Grave Lord Nito now? Straight no, away, or because you need the Lord Vessel. Okay, so there's a gold fault, a golden fog gate down here too. Mhm. Mm eh, it's okay. Okay, here we go. Now we'll test this out. I'm gonna try one invasion. If it goes through, great. If not, well, guess what? <laughs> the end of Dark Souls. The end of Dark Souls on camera, at least. Try invading another world, hell yeah. It's searching. Oh man, I hope it works. I do too, I really do. I'll uh I'll chameleon it up. What do I turn into here anyway? Okay, a pot or jar. <laughs> That's hilarious. Even no, that oh well yeah matches with those. I showed you that one uh, the guy invading in what was it Sin's fortress or whatever. Oops, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, he somehow he got on top of the fucking swinging axe and was riding it back and forth. Yeah, that's it's, great. It's, it is really hilarious if you can pull that off. Failed to invade. That, yeah. that man, that's a that's a crying shame, yo. 
Why don't you go ahead and spend the rest of your souls on resistance? The fucking 17. I could do that. I could do that. And I will. That's the great way to end this. Mm hmm. Level up. Resistance. Hell yeah. Shit, man, we put fucking four levels into that shit. Now we're talking. You're now tricky. basically immune to poison. I like it. Confirm reinforcement. Hell yeah. Reinforcement. That's. That's what I'll use. Sure. Oh, it's been fun. Yes, it's it has time been. to get our ass kicked. In anyway, shmup. yeah, that uh, I would quit this. Anyway, yeah, I enjoyed it, man. It's good having you along for this too. Oh, thanks for having me. It was uh, an interesting because... experience. I picked this shit up on your uh, your uh, recommendation, and I'm glad I did. Nice. I'm happy I could be of some video use. Video you could have gifted it to me on Steam, you know, you know, buy all my games for me like true fans do. <laughs> you hear that? Stream? You could be a BMS bro. Oh, Give me all the video games and I will play them. Pay me money. I would ban you right now if I could, but this is your stream, so I'm kind of powerless. I bet I can ban you though, motherfucker. Could. I could remove moder. I damn, you can IP ban people. Don't do that to me. That's crazy. God. Bra no, it is not Brahms. We're not going Brohms. That too, that sounds too much like Brony or some shit. And then no. You'll attract all the people you want to attract of that name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Anyway, you get the um, Brofisters, you get the Bronies. What more do you need? <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, uh, go men biscuits. We're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be back, and we're going to try some uh, some arrow fighters for the uh, the Super Nintendo for Slow Beef's Schmup Thread. Oh, this would go perfectly well, I'm sure. Oh yeah, nothing could go wrong with Schmups, especially one that we haven't played in a long time. I don't think I've ever played this game. Period. It will so. be interesting if we can make it to the final boss. It will all be worth it. The endings are great. You know this. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that you already showed me the endings. To be honest. Honestly, I don't know if we'll ever actually see them on our own if we don't do that, so yeah, you probably I did you a favor. Anyway, five-minute break. We'll be back, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs>